And we're back with another exciting episode of the ARP 2600 tutorials. I'm kind of losing my mind. Uh, so we're going to talk about, you know, using some external signals to generate CV through the envelope follower to control what's already happening in the keyboard. Uh, so without further ado, it'll make more sense as we go. Uh, so what I have going on here is just a drone. Okay, so we're going full meditation right now. Uh, so we're going to start with the drum loop of previous uh, videos. So if I stick that in there to replace... Okay, cool. So we've got a rhythm. And when we plug the rhythm into the preamp, it generates... I'm sorry. Plug the rhythm into the envelope follower. It's generating CV. Then we can then take and assign to the filter. Similarly what to what we did in the previous video, it's just now everything, you know, we've got sort of an internal external thing going on. Uh, so let's get our drone going. If I can get my drone going. And I'll kind of turn up and down the reverb as appropriate. Uh, so first step, we turn the filter down and we start adding control voltage. Okay, makes sense, pretty straightforward. Um, we're just using the CV and then I got thinking, you know, cause I'm nuts, we can turn on the, um, automatic uh, attack and release here and then we're linked to the clock so then we've got rhythms against rhythms because this clock has, the, has a rhythm and that drum loop has a rhythm uh, now to make this work we have to turn off the reverb at first just so you can hear it and we have to get the attack and uh, de sorry the decay and sustain volumes down uh, so let's try to isolate this a little bit if we turn up the filter okay so here's Here's our clock rate, and we add the drum rhythm to our clock rate. Okay, so then I got to thinking about well, we've got one clock here. Um, I have the core gray issue of the ARP 2600, so I have the uh, 3620 keyboard. Um, so you can do this if you have the Behringer. You just have to have an external controller that can do an arpeggiated type of thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is program an arpeggio in here, and we'll turn the decay and sustain back up. And hopefully that does it. Okay, so that's what I have going on without this filter gating. Okay. Oh man, that sounds good. Okay, get it together. All right, so if we turn the filter down, now we've got two rhythms. We kind of got to find where they go together. We have some cool stuff happening here. And it's not like you're just doing an arpeggio. It's like an arpeggio with something else there. Um, so then I got to thinking, well, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be like drums coming into here, right? Um, so then I decided uh, I have a Soma Ether, um, which if you don't know what that is, it's a little box um, from a company in Russia. And it looks kind of like this. 
<clears throat> so what we do with this box is it's kind of an anti-radio is what they call it. Um, so radio is shielded from electromagnetic frequencies. But this radio is the opposite of that. It's shielded from radio frequencies. Um, so it's not going to work the same. It's going to just pick up all the electromagnetism in my studio and turn it into a sound. Uh, so for the purposes of demonstration, this is what is coming through. Oops. Let's plug this in right. Okay. So now we've got the ether plugged in. turn off the arpeggiator there and what else do I need to do here? Okay. so this is what we have going on but as I move it around and we can turn down the sensitivity um, So, I'm finding a lot of spots in my studio that kind of have a rhythm. Also, if I touch the contacts on that radio, it generates a, a control voltage from the electricity in my body. So, let's take this to, you know, just insane levels of interference. <clears throat> so, we're going to turn on latch so it holds the note. So all I'm doing is just moving that uh, ether box around my studio. Um, this might be a fun time to take a trip with this box and record whatever things I can pick up out in the streets. Uh, I work in Brooklyn, so we've got a lot of electromagnetic interference to be recorded, and some of it has like lovely rhythms. Uh, so that might be sort of bonus video at the end of this whole series. So I hope that gives you some ideas of things to play with. You can use anything with the envelope follower. It can be guitar, bass, drums, recording, samples, microphones. Anything you can get plugged into this input can generate a CV for you. So I hope that gives you some things to play with. <laughs>